the tail of the tape for our main event. Carlos Donaira, 30 years of age. RC, the veteran at 33 years of age. And you see the weigh-in, 122 and a half for Donaira, 122 for RC. A one-inch reach advantage for Donaira. Uh, it's pretty close, you know, everything is pretty close. So uh, I think that as of right now, to me, that left hand is going to have to, uh, a lot to say about how this fight goes. All right, gentlemen. Earlier today, we went over the directions of the dress room. I want you to obey my commands, flex off all times. Understood? Yes, sir. Touch them up. Buena suerte, play Olympia. Thank you, sir. And away we are about to go. Arce and Donaira from the Toyota Center in Houston, Texas. <laughs> right out of the gate, oh, my Carlos. Goodness. It's not going to take long. Lawrence Cole, our referee this evening. The fighters are ready. The fans are ready. And away we go. Two very good friends who aren't friends for the next hour. An overhand left by RSA. And, and Nonito threw that left hand like he meant it, so I mean, he's not... He's not holding back with that left hand because he, he just winged it really well right now. He missed, but, but he threw it with power. Cold fighters in that short feeling out process, but we can't envision it lasting for long. And there fires a big left uppercut. But again, Carlos, you're right. You're watching that left hand, right? Yeah, and, yeah, and he's, you know, that's a very nice triple jab right there. And, and, and you know, uh, Nolito looks a lot bigger, too, than, 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 than Jorge Arce. As far as stature, too. Uh, because, you know, it, this is not what we expected. And uh, Jorge Arce is backing down instead of coming in like he said he was. An overhand right from Donaire. That was the fight that ended the Nishioka fight. Crowd urges Arce on. Just underway, the WBO Super Bantamweight Championship. Body shot by Arce. A little surprised how cautious he is? I'm a little surprised, uh, or not a little, a bit surprised. Because the way he, you know, he explained to us was he was going to be all over Nonito uh, right from the get-go, <clears throat> and it looks like uh, uh, Nonito is the bigger man, and he, he, he sees it, so he, he's just kind of walking him down now. And I don't see any hesitation in, in the way he's throwing that left hand. So uh, maybe there was more gamemanship than reality as far as how hurt his hand is. Good straight left jab by Gamora. A relatively tame first round. So in the corner, they're yelling at him to, to come forward and walk him, walk him down, but instead he's walking backwards. He walked into a left uppercut. Yeah. Good stiff left jab by Gennaro. Body shot. Borderline low from Arce. Shot by Donaro. Round one is in the books. Coming right back with a, with a hook right hand. So they're basically telling him uh, the, the counter punch. He, to come forward, but wait for the shots and then try to counter punch uh, instead of having him initiate, uh, which I think is a mistake against Donico. So we talked about a five-week time frame where Arce was with Nacho Beristain. Yeah. What could be garnered in a relatively short period of time uh, like that? Uh, I don't think much, you know, because, I mean, unless you, you know, a fighter grows up, and from the time he starts, he's got a style, you know, and he's settled on that style, and then the trainer, you know, perfects that style, so you, and, and the way you punch, and to try to change that in five weeks is impossible.
Second round action, Houston, Texas. Arce, Donaira, the waiting is over. First round in the books. And still a feeling out process. There we see both fighters firing big oh, left. Right. A right hand by Donaira, and Arce goes down to one knee. It is ruled a knockdown. Arce looks to his corner, says, I'm okay. And now he pursues. Donaira gets out of the corner easily. Oh, that's a right hand, yep. And Donaira is throwing that left with authority, Carlos. Yes, he is. I, you know, I think. Uh, I don't think there's any problem with that left hand because he's throwing it with a lot of uh, bad intention and if it, if it was hurt in any way, he wouldn't be able to do that. So a second round knockdown in round two by the champion. Straight left jab by Nonito. Another. And again, talk about patience. He got his man hurt yeah. or down, but not necessarily hurt, and he did not take any foolish chances. Yeah, exactly. And, you know, and right now, to me, I'd say it's, it's a kind of little, you know, out of range. He, he hasn't really found the rhythm because uh, he's kind of like, you know, hasn't found his range yet. Uh, it seems a little bit out of control, and he's going to have to uh, do what he said he was going to do. And, and rush this thing and make it an inside fight. So as round two winds down, Ryra throws another overhand right that misfires. <clears throat> but it is a big round for the Filipino Flash. And only because of the knockdown, because again, it, it was a very uninspiring no, round. No, 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 uh, no, except no, for no, that no. right hand that caught out no, coming no, in. No, he said, he said he's right there. He said nothing happened. Went down to one knee. Let's see the punch. Oh, very short, very short right hand. <clears throat> Looked like you hit him on the. Uh, oh, action yeah. bang heads. Yeah, and yeah, that was. It didn't seem like that right hand had a lot of power. In it. It's more. He got pushed off balance. Clearly, it's almost reminiscent of the Jesus Noah deal to a degree, where the, both fighters lunging in. It was a very short right. Yep, very short right. And the, the one knee touches the canvas. Round three. There's Arce trying to ugly this fight up. <laughs> That's coming in with authority. We said Brahma Bull. Yeah. Good left of the body, then an overhead right by Nonito. Again, the crowd tries to urge Arce on. Three quick left jabs by Donara. Arce having a hard time getting to the inside, Carlos. Yeah, what can he, he do? He's got a very difficult time, and he, he oh, there is a, that's what he has to do right there. That was a nice, Move to the inside with the right hand. They came over the hook. Then he's landing another left hook. Now he's getting comfortable because he hasn't been looked comfortable to me at all uh, throughout this fight. He did land a good left on the way in there. That's what he's got to do right there. Now he's got to work. There you go. Now the work to the body should begin. Should begin, and, and you know he's got to let his hands go uh, when he's when uh, any time that. Uh, 
Nolito's back touches the ropes, he's got to come in and just let, let his hands go. Good straight right by RCA. But this is what he needs to do, make the fight more physical. Ah, they, we saw that earlier tonight. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, Arce taps his chin, says, keep it coming. Then that came by Arce. And it's almost been his calling card. They get a short right hand, he puts a knee to the canvas. It inspires him to come even faster <laughs> and harder. Oh, good counter right hand oh, by Nonito. He's, he's got him hurt. And he's got Arce down. Again. Oh, this still wobbly. Hurt. He is still wobbly. Lawrence he Cole. 13 seconds remaining in round two. He's going to let it continue. Can Nonito close him out? Big right hand. Another big right hand. The, oh. And the left. And down goes Arce! Cannot be saved by the bell, this fight is over! The first knockdown. It's the right hand in the back of the head that hurt him. You know, on the right ear, yep. at the Noah fight, that equilibrium where he's, you and know. That, he got hit down while he was down there, so he, I don't know. He was hung up on the ropes and uh, got hit with a vicious left hook. And here it is. There, see that uppercut? Oh, the wobbly knees. Look. His right see hand was right on the hand. canvas, yeah. But don't forget the Jesus Noah fight where he got hit behind the right ear and lost his yep. equilibrium. Yeah, exactly. That was the punch that started this whole process. Yeah. Oh, man alive. What a big left, left hook. hook yep. Big left hook to close it out. And that was at the final second of the round. And Arce was urging Donaira, keep coming, I'm still here, I'm not going anywhere. And that flash left hook ended this fight in the waning seconds of round three. Let's go to the ring. At two minutes, 59 seconds of round number three, the winner by knockout victory and still WBO, super bantamweight champion of the world, the Filipino Flash, Nonito Donnie. Nonito. Great performance. Uh, tell me how you feel, and is this is what you expected. Uh, you know, I expect I expected no less from Marcy. He was a tough guy. You know, he was making it difficult for me to uh, to hit him. But when I got him with that straight that they didn't expect, you know, uh, I did I did my job to be able to throw that hook. And again, um, I wanna I wanna say birthday wishes to my uh, my godfather, Dr. Kato. Belated happy birthday to you, and I will see you soon. Now, um, we heard there was problems with the left hand, but the way you threw that left hook at the end there, looked like there was no problems with your left hand. The thing is, you know, you're a warrior, you know. No matter how, if my, even if my bones break in different places, I'm there to fight no matter what, and I'm gonna throw it no matter what, so. Absolutely, it's good to hear that. You are a warrior, great performance tonight, now look. What are you looking for to do next? Um, I'm gonna rest, I've been fighting so much this, this year. And uh, you know, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna rest for for a little bit and and enjoy my holidays and a happy holidays to you to everyone. Any ideas of moving up? You know, we're gonna try to go next year. You know, I know I have the power for 122. We're gonna try to go for 126, and if not, we we'll always can stay at 122. I'm, I'm light for both weight. Well, congratulations, another Thank great you, victory. Sir. We look forward to seeing you and again. It's always a pleasure talking to you. And back to uh, to Brian.